going to the fairs in the morning if the, the first one they met was a red-haired woman? They wouldn't continue on to the fair. They met out, they wouldn't sell her, they wouldn't have any look and they'd turn home. Say now, if you were going to Ferris Galway and you'd forgot something there and been rope and you're only a mile out the road, and no matter how important it was, I reckon you should never turn back for it. Why, it must be bad luck as well. Yeah, a lot of people have mm. that belief as well, yeah. If you happen to put on your jacket or cardigan inside out, leave it inside out for the day or you'll have bad luck. Yeah. You'll have good luck but to leave it inside out. And they do that, they used to do that. They would. Leave it inside out. <laughs> Wearing green, the colour of green. I know some people wouldn't wear it because they thought it was bad luck. They had some, something against that colour. <laughs> I you think it's the green of Ireland. Just I know, it's... but... St. Patrick wasn't bad, you know? <gasps> say now if I was walking down the street and I had a child with me, and say if she came up now and said, oh, your child is lovely. But she never said the child, like, God bless the child. I reckon you had to go home and put something right on your child. But if she did say God bless the child, you wouldn't have to. Yeah. Do you know, if you didn't say God bless the child, you were overlooking the child. You know, the open fire, that's another thing. If a coal fell backwards, oh, uh, that was a visitor coming. Mm. Yeah, that's the And if the, the, the fire kind of sparkled out and you know, they said there were money, money, money was coming money, to you. Money or fight. Money. Money. I heard. There was yeah. fight too put into it. Which wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. mm. That was now about the cold. Mm. The jokes then as well, you know, if they were squeaking and screeching and everything, that was a visitor that should become it. Okay. They had that going on, the old mm. people, mm. as well, mm. if you heard the jokes. Mm -hmm. Oh, there'd be some uncommon, they'd say. They used to see visions in the fire. Oh, Jesus, yes. They could, <laughs> they could figure out what, if this coal was this way. And they'd talk about it. That's, you know, there was no television or radio. And they time. certainly knew what the weather was going to be like according to the colour of the flames. Yes. Did you ever hear yeah, them say that? Oh, the rain, the, the rain is coming. Look at the colour of the mm. flame there. There'd be a kind of a purple hue on some of the flames. Another thing was, if you sold a range and sold it with the ashes in it, the house that got it was very lucky, but the house that gave away the ashes wasn't. That's the first time I never had that time, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> You know when you'd be lighting your fire outside? Well, it wasn't like now when you had fire lighters. You brought a coal out of the fire. That's right. To, start to burn whatever you wanted burned outside. Rubbish or whatever. Do you know what and you mean? had to go out first and be in a sod of turf and put it in the fire yeah, the before way. you took the coal. Yeah. That was superstition as well. If there was lightning, which there used to be great big thunderstorms long ago, that is now, that is in Mary. No, not happen at all, no. And they'd put out the dogs and everything outside and cats for fear they'd bring in the lightning. Oh, the dog is supposed to the draw dog, lightning. Yes, yes I've yeah, heard the that. Dog the dog is dangerous yes, to have in the yeah. house if you have lightning. Oh, yeah, and cover yeah. the mirrors and everything. Yes, other turn thing. the mirrors inside Put out, the mirrors. you know, from the wall. Or if those bicycles near, cover yeah. the handlebars. Yeah, anything with yeah. steel in anything it and things like steel. that. The, the, yeah. the material on the yeah. bikes would draw the lightning. But no, yeah. they don't, mm. don't bother at all yeah. about that, mm. you know. But another one there we used to know here was uh, at after 12 o'clock you never threw out water. Without saying "hugaja hugaja tiskusala," the the fairies were outside, so don't disturb them. Mm. And I remember my mother, the last time she was seen you going near the door with some water, don't throw that water out. She'd say, because the fairies, you drench the fairies. <laughs> we're so frightened of the fairies in time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you, you wouldn't you throw out water once it got dark at night yeah. because the good people might be passing. That's it. Yeah. You weren't supposed to do that. No, no, no. I used to hear my grandmother saying that when uh, our son now would have gone out to the fair and he'd be intent to buy sheep or cattle. And when he'd be leaving the house, she'd take the tongs and throw it out the, out the door after him, you know. You know, for good luck, that yeah. means good luck to her. I don't know, but some sort of... Oh, yeah, if it they had, had, you know, yeah. That he'd have good luck in buying goods, uh, quality sheep or cattle, whatever he was buying. When so, they were going off in the honeymoon, whatever uh, way they'd be going, they'd throw yeah, the tongs after throw her the for tongs. luck. And no yeah. coal in it. Huh? No coal no, in no, it. No, no, just the tongs. Just That's the tongue. right, <laughs> I've heard of that, all right. Yeah. And why mm -hmm. didn't hear that now, they, well, right. they used to do that, all yeah, right. Yeah. If you had a child plague set in the house... Right. As a matter of fact, I was looking for one for Mary's wedding, the big one, and I couldn't get it. I could only get a small one in, and I was going to cut it out. 
and it's supposed to bring the bride and groom good luck. Mm. You'd put her out and put flowers around her, around them, around her, I said, around them. And it's supposed to bring the bride and groom good luck. And it's it's very, very lucky to give the child a break statue to someone. Mm. Very lucky to get, you know, child a break statue. And that was another thing then. If you had boyfriends you liked, you'd get this envelope and you'd put a name on each corner. And every every Friday, I don't say Friday or Sunday, you'd have to tear a corner off and you couldn't look at it until the four were, the th- fourth one was in it. And whoever was left on that corner, that's the one you'd marry. <laughs> we were sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't marry them when I think back now. <laughs> A woman after childbirth, they used to go to church for the ceremony, you know, the priest. They call it church. They call it, she's gone to be churched. And if she went into a, to a neighbour's house or anybody's house, they wouldn't. they wouldn't want her in, as though she'd bring in bad luck when she wasn't churched. Sure, the old people now, long ago, they would never wear bright clothes. And she no, like the old people long ago, they no. get married with a, on a, with a black coat yeah. and a black hat and they die in the same yeah. coat and yeah. hat nearly yeah. because yeah. they couldn't afford no, to they buy couldn't clothes. Afford it. Yeah. But they wouldn't yeah. wear bright they clothes wear bright like clothes. we're wearing now, no, you know. No, no, no. 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 Well, my mother uh, did now in later years. Well, they would in later years, yeah, but uh, they did. always had yeah. black. They get married in oh, black and they die in black. A wedding ring, you put it onto a piece of thread and it was it was many times for a boy, three times for a boy, four yeah. times for a girl. But the boy would have to, it'd have to swing to the left for the boy, right for the girl. And then it was saying how many children you'd have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd go up and down like this and many times then it fed itself as how many children you'd have. No, it's strange like <laughs> they told me I was having ten and I didn't even have one yet. <laughs> And another thing, when they put down a clutch of eggs... That's right. If they came to under, they'd... They'd be no birds They'd be gluggers, they said, or what's gluggers, they said, they called And if there was any noise, and it kind of say a hammer, and it was any kind of noise, or drilling or anything, you know. Or maybe sometimes a hint, if you put on a clock on him, we call it, and the clock on my daughter, and she'd be, we, you'd think she'd be there, and she'd be gone, and the eggs would be nuggets, they'd be as cold as ice, Yeah, remember? and the luckiest thing in the world was the one that hatched out, said, and came in with her nine chickens. That's right, yeah. It yeah. was awful lucky to Sometimes see her coming from know. under the hedge and you wouldn't know where you she came from. You wouldn't know where she came from and the chickens would follow her follow in. Follow her in yeah. and she'd be delighted. Oh, stop, yeah. You know, another thing, and I shouldn't be telling it at all, is what, put a bit of wool into the wall. Far. Oh, if I say this, you'd die laughing. Is it, a little, is it a pair in her shoes or a pair in her stockings for the Ben Oosel? Did you hear that? No. What's the Ben Oosel? A weasel? What's wrong with oh, you? Oh. Because the weasel won't come then and bring your chickens in summertime. Oh, is that good?